as we can see, guys, we're jumping onto stream now, and we have uh, we have John on the Vegito. Uh, is it set two? Set two. Set uh, two Vegito that got a lot, mm. and I'm saying a lot of anniversary box support. It's actually unreal this deck, and if you see it go off, it can go off so hard, so quick. Yeah, uh, leader. If anyone doesn't know by now, um, essentially makes all Goku and Vegeta in your energy. Um, Gain uh, the colors. Is it blue, uh, red, and green? I think it is. So if uh, you charge a yellow Vegeta, you've already got four colors. Yeah, exactly right. Um, and in that, we can obviously see, I, I think there's a little bit of glare on that table, so we might have to get that fixed by round two, just so people can actually see the cards that are coming in. You might be sitting under the, the downlight itself. Uh, it's Crimson Goku, is that right? Correct. Crimson Goku. This deck has seen so much love. We saw it really jump up at the u.s nationals and ever since that's come up everyone's jumped on board we've seen a lot here i think there's about eight out of 16 15 percent yeah. of the top cut decks at the moment are playing crimson um of course the boys from america are also playing crimson but they're the ones that actually you know took that to their nats last weekend um and obviously proven results right obviously they mm. didn't get the win uh, marcus came second uh robert reeds came i think in the top 16 as well uh, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Um, but you know, why wouldn't you bring a deck that you've already topped that to another to another high end event? Hundred uh, percent. Like it just does so much. It's got so much tech. It can go high. It can go wide. Uh, some of the support it's had, especially with like that Piccolo and Pan combination. Absolutely. Just the draw that you can get and the amount of pressure you can put on the 20k the dual attack. Or you play the pan Huge. to draw one or put Barry onto the card itself. By the time you combine that with the beer of Z. I know, mean, people are, not, people are not even swinging with the second swing of Piccolo just to make sure it stays on the board for 100%. a free 20k swing, right? Game barrier and it sticks around. So we're going to go... We're going to start off here, actually, very quickly. John, obviously the better bracket, so he's going to go first. He taps one, he plays the Vegeta. Um, and he's going to obviously pass through there. So it looks like Bean in the energy. Mm. For Jack, he's going to draw from his leader swing. And the idea of, obviously, Crimson is to get the five Saiyans in the drop, mm. put them under your leader. Uh, the sooner you do that, the better. Uh, that way you can awaken, put Wait. the five Saiyans underneath the leader, and then you'll be able to draw three and start untapping and using that for manipulation, right? Yeah, one of the great things about that deck, being able to awaken at such high life, it, technically you can awaken at eight life if you play, play right. greatly and everything's going right. in your favor. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So these guys are speeding through. They obviously know what their deck does. They know what each of their deck does, right? Um, I'm sure yesterday they probably knew what matchup they were going into today, and they were going to, like, obviously kind of like scope it out and figure out what, what they're looking at. Absolutely. This footage has not been sped up just for the stream. This is actually <laughs> how fast they are playing. Uh, yeah, I mean, John played the super combo for those that didn't see. He got to play a blocker on the field on his on his turn one. Mm. Um, he's now looked at his, his Z here. He's now played the Vegito, I believe it is, the one drop. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, Going to swing into the Vegito that... Jack was playing, so that's two Saiyans now in the drop yep. for doesn't for mind going in there. Yep. And there you go. Turn yeah. turn two, awakened. Unreal. Awakened eight life. Yep. Awakened. Yep. With w the one energy <laughs> one energy to go still. Um Jack obviously just defending with Saiyans. Now he's got three in the drop as well. He's gonna be awakened in the next turn or two as well. We we're, we're seeing two of the best decks go up against each other. Absolutely, right now. absolutely. If you, if you know what these decks do, you you or if you don't, you're, you're soon for, gonna yeah, find out. That's right. You're <laughs> in gonna be for a, a match. Absolutely, you're in for a match. So Jack just trying to figure yeah. out how he wants to defend against this next swing. Come there's the there's pan. a fourth Saiyan. That's it. One, One more and, and he's gonna take he's gonna activate the battle. Uh, he's actually he's gonna take the life anyway, regardless. Um, so we combo the pan, go to 15. John's leader is already at 15 because he's awakened. And, and uh, wow, he's going straight for the Z awaken as you do. Bottom deck draw two. Uh, what is counter timing? I mean, here's the, <laughs> thing, here's the thing, right? Like, John is now, I believe that leader is still 15k. Yep. Um, and he's on eight life, right? And obviously, Jack's leader is 10. Um, we'll most likely go to 15 by yeah. the end of this turn. Be ready to awaken. Yeah. Um, he's got two energy. He's got four Saiyans in there. He might activate battle right now and just mm. simply... And there it is. There's there's a pan. He's going to drop it, draw one. He does look like he's going to take a life here. Um, but he's in awakened territory now, right? Absolutely. Thinking through his plays a little bit. Oh, he actually, actually does the take the life. Yeah. So we were just thinking on it. So he's down to five now versus John's eight. Um, and you can see John's still rocking the Vegeta. 
It's Resolve Renewed, right? Is that the card's name that I'm that I'm thinking of? The, the, the counterplay from... that is now only limited to yep. Vegito leader? Yep. I mean, interesting amazing... Uh, uh, well, I mean, amazing card. Mm. Can only go on Vegito right now. Yep. Um, kind of like... Hit a few going red decks draw. indirectly. Jack playing the smoke out. Going for the draw. Obviously, opting quite for interesting, yeah. the hand size. Yeah. Well, he had to, he had to tap energy mm. because he's going to be able to untap one when he awakens, mm. right? So if he had nothing else that he wanted to play for one, no Piccolo, mind you. This is just a smoke. Might not see all the cards he actually wants in his hands to get his optimum turn off. Mm. Can you see he's, he's sort of been put on the back foot here. He's probably looking at this life going, how am I actually going to deal this? He's just passed. Yeah. He's just passed. He's kept one energy up. The bean is already in the energy as well, so it's he may have another one in hand or he may just... May just not have anything else that he wanted to play. I mean, playing smoke on turn two to draw two. I'm not going to say it's the worst play. Wow. The sin. Uh, okay. Because you have a Z leader. Yes. That sin can be played. Absolutely. Uh, generally played of a one or two of in this deck. Uh, and it's such a powerful card. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think everyone knows what sin Shenron does. I mean, it's a 30k triple strike. And the fact that it can minus... Is it 30k? It can. The only thing is that it doesn't get the leader to minus it, so then it boosts itself up and then minus something else. So I don't think he's going to be able to... It's still a triple strike. It's still a triple energy. strike 30k. It's still a triple we'll strike 30k for pressure. Week. If he brings Jack down to three now, mm. and it doesn't look like Jack has actually got a negate in hand to, to have stopped this, so he's just thinking on what he's going to... I think be able to combo if he's going to take it or not. But you really don't want to go down to... Sorry, you'll go down to two. Mm. It's a triple strike here. Double two. Gets rid of the smoke. Mm -hmm. So I think it must be activate battle. You might be able to you might be able to neg. Oh, uh, depending on how many Z cards. Something about the card. I I don't actually. We're gonna have to look. Yeah, up you might have there. to. You might have to look because <laughs> I thought it was the leader that procs the Shenron that then gives it five K and then obviously KOs a battle card. But it might actually be on the on the activate battle of the of the Shenron as well. I've played that much cards for the in the past 24 hours that I'm just kind of losing it here. <laughs> they all blare into one. So Jack's going to use the pan, uh, sorry, the Videl from underneath uh, his leader, which gives it 5k as long as it's the first card um, used. And then he's going to use the UI Kamehameha that also gets him another 10, so he's out of the out of the swing itself. So using the Crimson Leader effect, he will be able to get 2,000 power for each card still underneath his leader. Mm -hmm. So he had he had five, and then he used the, the Videl to get the 5k combo as well, because it was the only card that he used in a combo. Almost like a, that. slightly like a second hand, but the ability to untap as well. Yep. So now John just putting on the pressure, as we can see. Uh, his leader just swung 15 double. Oh, this oh is a the one-drop Goku. Goku. Yeah, that is actually amazing. Uh, Unique is going to be able to Go to, I think, 20. Actually, doesn't even want to swing with it. He's just going to evolve on top of it. So he's going to fuse. He had the one-drop Vegeta on the board, and he had the one-drop Goku. He's already got the draw from the Goku as well. Now he's going to fuse in. He's just going to continue to pile on this pressure. No energy needed. Just going to swing in. Jack takes the hit, and now he's down to four, which means that his super combos are probably online. And I'm wondering if he's running a 2-2 split with the Zeno or if he's just going, you know, the four bottom deck draw two. I, I would be shocked if he didn't go 2-2. Two -two. Uh, that Sin has the active battle once per turn. So it can do on the opponent's turn. Choose one uh, battle card or unit card. It gets minus 3,000 power yep. for the turn for each of your Z energy. I thought so, yep. Additionally, uh, if your leader is a Z leader, choose up to one battle card or unit card and it gets minus 30,000 power go. for the turn. There we go. Okay. Which makes more sense here. Mm. Hello, Glare. Is that you? So the beer is Z card for two. Actually, a very, very strong card in all blue decks right now. Uh, you're going to tap two. It does cost two Z uh, energy as well. Mm. When it swings, it does have barrier. It's a 10k. When it swings, it can bottom deck a card that's higher cost than their energy at the, at the moment, which he's got rid of the Omega. Doesn't mm -hmm. have barrier. Um, and you can actually tap two to give it dual attack 
Uh, it combos 5k every time uh, that it swings, so it can go up to 25, and actually neg something with barrier... Uh, from the field. Great. Obviously, Jack Le does not have Le two blue energy up. Leader untaps one. But he's going to be able to do it as soon as he swings with his leader. But then he will also leave himself defenseless on this. He's got something like a D-Magic. I wouldn't be shocked. Mm. Um, it depends how much pressure he wants to put on. Johnny's still sitting comfortably at seven life right now. It realistically, it, it, staring at seven life, it's pretty scary when oh, you're already at four. And there you go. So he's tapped two. He's mm -hmm. reactivated Beerus. He's got a bottom deck ignoring barrier, which the Vegito is now gone. Mm. Goku Vegeta goes to the drop. Um, and you're right, this does leave Jack tapped out, but he does have four battle cards underneath his leader mm. still. If he activates the three, he'll be able to untap one, get the combo power himself, um, and also draw. So this is now Beerus' second swing. Uh, it's 20k, swinging at lead. He's already got rid of all battle cards on the field, so he's pretty pretty happy with that. Super and here comes blocker. the other super combo blocker. Yeah. And... and the third swing from Beerus, now it's going to make it 25. Uh, you'll see this one game blocked for sure. Or he wants cards in hand. Oh, he actually yeah. is not going to block it. Interesting. It's not bad. His hand size isn't quite as big, so and he's still comfortable at six. Absolutely. I mean, he's just he's just drawn another Vegito. Um, straight away tapping one. He's going to play the one drop Vegeta. Interesting that John decided to charge the Goku because he does have the Vegito in hand as well. Um, so unless he's got another Goku that he's happy to play to fuse again. He's got two Vegitos in hand, actually. He's got more than more than just one. Um, but we're going to see what the what the play mm. is here. Definitely has another Goku in hand there. We're just looking to see. He's still got four cards underneath his leader. Still a bit of... There you go. There's another one-drop Goku. I'm not actually sure if I've seen that one before. What is that? Top five, top five or top seven to to reveal something. Yeah, oh, he's an Omega, but he can't. Grabs another one drop Goku. That's going to allow him to draw. It's unique. He's not hasn't yeah. got it on the field either. It's just such a good card. It goes to one cost twenty five k when you yep. do the active main. Yep, and you draw one. Mm. Perfect for fusion target. And now I'm guessing he's just going to start putting on the pressure. He's going to fuse yeah. back into the Vegito. Um, Comboing off the oh, Goku. Okay. I mean, that's right, he's in top 16, right? Where he's seeing things that we're not seeing. Right. I, I'm seeing cards moving. They're doing things. <laughs> he does have the other Goku, right? The unique mm. Goku if he still wanted to. And here we go. Jack's going to use the three. When you use three, you're able to untap one as well. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to be able to combo out of that. He's got Pan that he used as a first combo. I think uh, I also saw in John's hand the um, counter counter Goku that's blue. Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, yellow, yellow, red. red. Yep. Uh, Which would make seeing, sense. We're seeing a lot in the, uh, the uh, Syndex. Syndex mm. now. Jack also has um, Bean in his hand. Mm. So he's quite ready for the defense. Um, John's just going to tap one, get rid of one Z. I think he's just going to play Vegito. Yeah. Yeah. Some really good support in that anniversary box. Absolutely. Absolutely. And John has been playing this deck mm. for quite a long time, and he's always been saying mm. he wants more support. Top seven, you'll grab... Ooh, yeah. yeah it's triple is Striker. Hyper, is that Hyper... From set three. Yeah. Green Vegito. Hyper Hyper Rush hyper SSB Rush. Vegito. Is that, is that the mm. name? Correct. Wow. Max Rarity here too, by the way. S, mm. uh, SPR. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he's got the Vegito... SCR out here. Why would you Whoa, use that one if wow, you can go wee. straight for the secret rare? And there you go, D Mag. He's going to sparking. He has mm. been tapped out, obviously, from the from the SCR himself. Uh, can't really untap because the Vegeta's sitting on the board. John, one really for the happy to just tap Absolutely. out and like six life. Spot. Why not six life? He's going to swing with the Goku. Twenty five k. Yep. Really, he puts as much pressure on now, and then next turn, if he does have that counter counter in hand, mm -hmm. literally swings with his big guy, and, and then just gets uh, it'll go through. Yeah, he's got the energy to do so. Close to GG. And I mean, you know, Jack is obviously in such a tight spot now. He's completely tapped out. He's used D Mag, but he couldn't untap. Otherwise, he just gets burnt. Has to take this swing from the Goku. Now he's going to fuse into the Vegito. No response, and he's got no unison, he can't, you know, yep. can't do anything with it. Um, man, the pressure that pressure. John really, is putting on here is just 
And that's he's down, down to, to one. one. Yeah, down to one. And that's that's as much pressure as he's going to get. But he's sitting on six life. Mm. So blue does have the uncanny ability, especially once you get to four energy. It seems to be the sweet spot where you can really defend mm -hmm. comfortably. So mm -hmm. and also uh, put a bit of pressure on. Right, the piccolo costs two. Mm. You'll be able to untap one with your leader. The thing to note as well for Jack, he's only got one card under his leader now, mm. so. It's a two K. It's a two K combo when he gets rid of that card, right? Mm. He he doesn't have the ability to untap with the actual leader ability, mm. um, but he obviously still has the untap when he swings. Mm. Um, yeah. Bean is actually in energy as well, so he won't be. Able, it's a defensive anyway. He's got another one in his hand, uh, but with that errata, he won't be able to go aggressive with the Bean untap anymore. Mm. And it looks like he's just going to overwhelm here. There it is. There's a dark brawl. He's going to get rid of the SCR out of nice. the game. Um, Man, that Dark Broly is putting in work. Yeah, uh, seeing it a lot more. Uh, has uh, no combo power, I believe, off the top of my head, but, you know... 30k warp of battle card. Literally, like, such a good card. For free, mm. mind you. Here's just Piccolo. Six. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to be playing the pan out? Yeah, he is. Get he's that extra gonna, draw, he's combo power. Take the barrier, as you do, as you do. I mean, in this spot, you probably don't even care about having mm. barrier on your on your uh, piccolo right well realistically i mean you want to have that board presence looking at the two hands you got jack who has uh you know a public school encyclopedia whereas john's gone to the university for his encyclopedia <laughs> with the amount of cards in hand so you want to try and catch up yeah yeah and you are blue mm. you are happy to just sit and like defend a bit um we're going to see him obviously swing in first swing piccolo john's tapped out here so mm. it's not it's not the hardest thing to get out. Look at that. Look at that hand. I told you. He went to play private Harvard. school. He went to Harvard. <laughs> um, and he's just thinking now, like, what position does he want to be in? And obviously, John being able to play the Vegeta uh, super combo, he doesn't need to be at full life either, yep. right? He can just absorb the pressure. Comfortably defend. Happy with that. Mm. There's a 2 5 case. He's going to get out of the first ring from Piccolo. One goes to Z Energy. Is he putting pressure to get rid of that Vegito threat, or is he putting pressure on life? Because I'll say if it was going to life, John would be just comfortable taking this right now. I think he's just trying to remove that threat. Mm. And that's the thing, right? When you're on one life, everything's lethal. Mm. That's where the scary thing comes into play. Like, John is just kind of like, if I take two or three hits here into my leader, he's still sitting at a comfortable spot. Mm. And there you go. There he's, you go. he's given up on the Vegito. Going to take the one life here. Still on five. Piccolo's now swung twice. Mm -hmm. Dark Broly's on the field. Leader can obviously swing, untap one, draw one. 30k. Ooh, the Wii Super Combo. It's a free negate. So it actually has a combo cost. It's got 10,000 combo power, but it's a two, uh, two cost. Um, and then you take a life and it negates and plays out. Interesting, interesting. The tech that this deck has. Oh. <laughs> it has enough tech to get me confused. <laughs> and I don't know if that's hard or, or easy for me, but <laughs> I'm just I'm just here for the ride, man. I mean I'm I'm still I'm still, you know, licking my wounds from yesterday, not making top sixteen, you know. One of the biggest nationals that we've had in this card card game's history, right? right. We had people fly over for this. Absolutely. You know, it was a it was a huge event. And prize support. Prize support was absolutely amazing. Unreal. Um I think it was one of the smoothest events obviously we've had. Mm -hmm. um, and I think everyone can kind of agree to that. Um And blocking with the beasts. The the thing I want to bring up here, and we obviously have seen John's SCR. What's Jack running in Crimson? Is it the Gohan or is it the Goku? We see a lot of the Gohan in these decks. The ones that are doing really well. That, are the Gohan pressure, that, right? That Gohan just does so much. I mean, the fact Burn that it life, can be able to... Active main yeah. battle. Oh. It can restand, give itself crit, or oh. even... Oh, I thought we were going to see it. I thought we were genuinely going to see it. But yeah, exactly. But what's really good with this as well, you can restand your leader and get that yep. swing again. Yep. I'm yep. pretty and then sure the auto I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty you get sure. an extra draw. Which is kind of... Kind of amazing. And over onto John's turn here. I've seen a couple people obviously run the Goku SCR as well. I'm not sure if it's a 
tech choice or if they don't have the Gohan because Gohan's quite pricey at the moment uh, absolutely we're talking about you know 400 AUD probably a bit more now actually still it just kept climbing and I think I think people kind of thought it was for the Gohan leader right mm. it was kind of like mm. oh yeah you know you'll be able to untap you can do a lot on three energy stuff like that but then when Crimson kind of spiked itself in popularity over in the states it's now like wait a second yeah. this is exactly what I need. This card's actually yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. And all the collectors want it. Well, I mean, it's a gorgeous card. <laughs> it is, I was it a is. hater at the start. Yeah. You know me. I, I was, I'm was. i a big Gohan fan, and I was like, this does not look good. And then when I saw it in person, I'm like, yeah. I need more than one. Beast mode is, is <laughs> beast, beast mode is where to be. <laughs> beast mode is where to be, man. So Jack obviously played the Smoke Dragon for two. He's drawn two now. He mm -hmm. obviously doesn't really care too much about the Vegito threat. Um, he's just trying to obviously get as much advantage as he can. And like you said, we, we saw in John's hand, he's got two of the counter counters. Um, that counter counter does require you to drop a yellow card to be able to activate that counter counter. So he can drop it, him, like he can drop it uh, another copy to play it um, if he needs to. But we're actually going to see the Hyper Rush. Big threat. Dead of removal. Uh, yep. I believe discard two, is it? Judge really having cool. a read of the card. So he's got rid of the smoke with one of the effects. Yeah, I was going to say, what actually happened to the uh, mm. Vegito? But it looks like he's just having a read. Yeah. So it's tapped to, I think, to evolve onto another Vegito target. Mm. Oh, and he gets to get rid yeah, of uh, I think two, two random cards, cards right? So, oh, he's stacking, stacking. Yeah, yeah, that, that stacking, the, nice. stacking the hand. Oh, oh. Oh, John's just trying to figure it out. He's like, oh, yeah, what's over here? What's over yeah. here? And well, obviously Jack hiding? completely shuffled it, right? Yeah. Oh, he gets a bean. Mm. Goodbye, bean. I think it's one card that he gets to get rid of, and then maybe one battle card too. Mm -hmm. So one, one, and then he draws two from it too, which is uh, unreal, filth, <laughs> unreal, absolutely filth. <laughs> oh, you lose one, I get two. Oh, okay. Swinging with lead, there's been no negate here, so we're at twenty-five, thirty-five mm -hmm. with the blocker, forty. The blocker has combo power as well, 5k, doesn't it? So that's, is that 45 we're looking at? Literally just feeding that hand so that he can yep. pump as much as possible. Yep. And obviously, you know, when you go in with a leader swing, you're just kind of like, all right, if you didn't negate it, there's not really anything you can do here except for combo out, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. John's putting cards down. He's still got a book in his hand. Yeah, literally. He's like, I'm not using those. And don't forget, he has a counter-counter in his hand. Mm. So... He was anticipating that he was going to try and negate it. Mm. And he's going to tap another one for 10, another, another 10, another so, 20, another yeah. 30. So what, what are we... Okay, wow. Okay, never mind. So 40 here, on top see, of that. Take all my cards. And he's just got a Dark Broly there. 30k swing. Uh, and then the counter counter. So what have we got? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna say 100 now. He just slammed those things down like he was, he was ready to go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Probably a million. Too. I think he. I think he slammed down game number one. Mm. Um, Jack just looking at his hand, trying to figure out if there's actually a way out of here. I'd be shocked if there was actually a way out of here. Mm. And if he does, he doesn't know that he's got the counter count, which he actually can't activate the counter counter anymore. John is on one energy. Mm. But if he's got the Broly in hand, really, he's got mm. the swing. He's got the overarm. Mm. He, he's comfortable. So double beam. To start off with, mm -hmm. 25. He can still use the Z card underneath to make it a 2K. Mm -hmm. That's if he gets all the way through. There you go. UI Kamehameha, another yep. 10K. Uh, so what are we sitting at now? We're at 35. Yeah. It's got Be Realm of the Gods Beerus in his hand. Yeah, and that's the thing with Blue. Like, all these cards, pseudo combos that... 10K, you know, or you can I mean, untap again. 15K, untap. There you go. Oh, There's the... Uh, one. I've yeah. drawn a card. There's a 10K pseudo super combo. He's got another one, actually, we're, in his hand. Where a hand size looks Unbreakable. like it's eight. It's actually 15. Yeah. Yeah. He's got another unbreakable in his hand. Might be enough, but he probably lose most of his There's card. a super combo, so he's not. He's, so far, we've only seen one super combo. Mm -hmm. So we're at 25 on the leader. He's got an unbreakable 35. We've got a super combo 45. He's used the UI Kamehameha 55. Still needs, I think, about another 40 to 50k to even think about getting out of this. Jack just obviously trying to figure out what he's going to bottom deck to draw to. Bit hard from this angle as well. It looks like his deck's pretty thin. Probably sitting at both a players have cards. probably been drawing like yeah. a fair bit, and this is the kind of meta that we're sitting in right now, right? Draw, draw plenty, mm -hmm. hand size a, a million. Um, there's another unbreakable. Nice. Probably just digging for more super combos. We've only yeah. seen one from Jack. Jack has only got one energy up. 
I said, oh, is that enough? No, I don't think Ooh, it is. Uh, will that do? Can I, can I go home now? I don't think you can. The thing is here, if Jack uses Realm of the Gods uh, Beerus here to get the 10k combo, he taps himself out. Yep. And then John goes in with the Overrealm um, Broly, and he has no threat because he can't untap. He can't spark and negate. Cannot, cannot he, do. He needs to use 5k's to get out of this now if he hasn't got any more if he's got any. And if he did, he would have used it already. Pan's going to get comboed off the board. There's the Goku Black. Looks like there's another, there's another 20k that he just dropped down. If he couldn't get there, he wouldn't be dumping this. I think I agree with you. He's got the Gohan uh, rare, and then he's the, got the Videl. The ball goes from energy going into a combo area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, okay, here's the interesting thing, by the way, that, we, that we, uh, we're going to look at now. Even though he's got the Dark Broly, mm. his lead is at 25. He's used two beans. He's still got one energy up, and Jack's hand has now turned into, what, three, four cards? Yeah. But, yeah, one, uh, one D-Mag. He does have a D-Mag in his hand, doesn't he? Four yeah. cards, one of them's a D-Mag. Oh, this just turned very, very interesting. This just turned super interesting. Yeah. It's correcting where the, ah, the belongs. Ah, the was. And D-Madge. Tap, nice. Overrealm. Uh, yep. Yep. Warp to Piccolo. See, if John can't close it out, there's another negate. The uh, clap back is going to be real. Well, the cards in his hand, I don't think, have combo power. And there's the... And there's D-Mag. He's d -Mag. He oh. also had the Beerus in his, ha in his hand. So it's oh, another 10 Tapping code. one. Oh, come on but, now. This is not how we like... This has happened to us before, Emmett. Where a stream... They're just uh, literally just like kind of... Just at the oh, pinnacle. Oh, man. Assuming he's probably going to be tapping one for something like the one drop Goku that can go to 25k and then dump the rest. I mean, we're not even going to be able to find out now what actually is going on. At the, why has this happened every time? This is the internet connection that we're, that we're dealing with here. It always happens right on the final swings, doesn't it? Oh man, why? Oh, 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 we're back. Alright. It's just buffering now because he's trying to get there. Sorry guys, we are back. Unfortunately, it's out of our control. This. We have to use mobile Wi-Fi and all the connections that are in here, but we're back, we're back. Looks like he's tapped out. So John ended up passing. Mm, mm. From what we can see, John ended up passing there with the Dark Broly swing. Obviously, he wasn't able to get through. John is uh, now tapped out. You know what it would have been? It would have been probably the one-drop Broly. I can see a Beerus in the drop area, and he probably uh, would have removed it being two or less and drawn a card. This clapback is going to hurt. He's tapped out. Yeah, he's tapped out. He's got two life left now. And what a swing of events. Well... If only we could see what actually happened because we are back to buffering. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, we're back here. Man, we are getting some... Mm. Deciding on charge. Thank you, Adelaide, for 4G. Uh, yeah, and John's just going to scoop. That's it. He knows he can't do anything yep. there. Like, he used everything. He had extra cards in his hand. Uh, yeah, wow. Game one going to Jack on the crim... And that shows you... Mm. The power of Crimson. Absolutely. I think we all knew already that Crimson was an absolute menace to deal with. Mm -hmm. That's just showing you yeah. why it is a menace. So, it, so much pressure come down to go all the way down to one life. Mm -hmm. And like I said, once you get to four energy with blue, that's the defensive play. Like you, four energy. As soon as you get, we're to not four, talking about like you know ten like where yeah. you ramp and then you just play like the big bodies. It's like that's, you get to four energies. You're comfortable. You can be offensive. You can be defensive. You can do whatever you want to do. Interesting to see, uh, they're going to go into side decks now. So we did have uh, best of one pre-side going into top 16. And our top cut is uh, actually best of three. So they won't be able to side. These guys would have had to design their deck around the fact that just in case they do make it. Absolutely. They need their deck to be ready. And that's the thing, right? Like, because we did best of one pre-side, mm -hmm. you still had to have the cards that you wanted mm -hmm. in your main board. Or... You risk that if you go into the top 16 and it's like your ideal mm. cards were in your side, mm. pending matchup. I, I had so many one ofs. Yeah. Just in case. And yeah. then the other one was in my side yeah. deck just so I could do a, a decent split. Yeah. No, yeah, that's if I wasn't a scrub. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, but because we are a scrub. <laughs> 
we are allowed to stream today. Yeah. So yeah. we hope that you guys are enjoying, guys. Obviously, um, thank you all so much for tuning in. I think it's like super late for people around the world because we are only at nine o'clock, nine a.m. Mm. Um, we are starting this. So I think around the world, it's probably quite late for you guys. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. If you're not from Australia, for all the Australians that are tuning in that couldn't make it or or couldn't make top sixteen like us, um, welcome. Hopefully, you're enjoying today. I'm glad that we could actually get somewhat of a stream up for everyone. Um, Obviously, going into the evening, if you are watching from the US, so probably that prime time, we'll be able to get through most of the matches before it's too yeah, late. Yeah, I think it was the same for us, right? Like, uh, when we were watching the US... We were watching first thing in the morning. We were like 12 a.m. Yeah. for us. It was like 12, 1 a.m. for us. So now we're doing the reverse. So... You're welcome. sideboarding now obviously trying to figure out what's what's key to this matchup right yeah. um john john did go first in that round because he had mm. a higher seed um he's now i'm assuming gonna go first again um i don't think vegeto works in a way where I, he wants to put on pressure straight away i would i would say so i mean he was in a commanding spot it's he, just he couldn't he couldn't get that last he's optimum turn one he's charging that yellow vegeta probably tapping one for the green vegeta to get it on board draw a card absolutely, hand, and, absolutely. Then, and then go hand awakening on turn, on turn one uh turn two yep. and having eight life that's literally mm. the situation you want to be in mm. yeah probably a really good card being blue i mean you got you got aggression with crimson anyway, but something like de desperate measures, you know, counter playing mm. those one drops back to hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the scary thing is they can play them again, but at least it removes that fusion target if that's all, what they've got to do to tap out yeah. to play that and get their free fusion. And you're bouncing back to hand, you just shut down their turn. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so the question I have for you then, Gary, while these guys are <laughs> taking a quick taking a quick drink break, obviously. Um, if this does go to game three and Jack gets to go first on Crimson, who are you then taking to, to, to take it all? Because like you said, obviously Vegito wants to go first. Mm. It's allowed to awaken at like eight life. He can do it on turn two. He can keep the pressure mm. um, as we saw. And, you, and we've already mentioned Crimson being able to go first and getting to that, that sweet spot of four or five energy. Um, personally... I think I take Crimson to win if he goes first. I think I've seen so many people jump onto blue, and these guys are very good players. But Both even, of them are even, very good players in their own right. Even players just picking up for the first time, doing well with this deck. Crimson. Mm -hmm. it, it is a yeah. technical deck, yeah. but when you see people who can get wins with it and it's straight out of the box, yeah. it generally says that there's a lot of strength. I mean, deck. look, let's, let's be honest. I think everyone... I, I, you know, I could be wrong, but I'm just going to say I think everyone in Australia pretty much didn't even look twice at the Crimson deck before US Nats. Um, and the fact that eight out of 16 are in the top 16, obviously granted there are two Americans that obviously played that deck in their own Nats and have a lot of experience and they brought it here. So let's say six out of 14 mm -hmm. Australians playing picking in the top 16 the and picking times. it up and learning in a week and being able to pilot it. I mean, undefeated Max mm -hmm. is on Crimson. He went 9-0 yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, he put in, I, I would say, I, I think I know, like some of the guys that obviously practice with him, put in six to eight hours a day playing mm -hmm. Crimson. Just figuring out how you it have works, to. All you have to. Outs. Absolutely. And, I mean, I remember when it was first revealed, everyone said, this is the worst Soul Striker. Yeah. Why would I play this over Soul Absolutely. Striker? Absolutely. Soul Striker untaps two, this untaps one. Absolutely. Uh, I think having that ability to. You know, have that defensive pressure with comboing from under your leader, getting those that two K, being able to untap on your opponent's turn. That's the perk, right? It is, Soul, it, Soul Striker can be defensive having two up, but then this has the ability to even though I'm tapped out, mm -hmm, I can still untap. Mm -hmm. And this is I think that's where the biggest um the biggest skill uh point of this deck is, right? You've got five cards underneath your leader. You can only once remove three to untap draw and it's like a so that's like a once per game kind of thing and you have to pick the perfect moment that you need to use those three battle cards mm -hmm. to to untap an energy right Correct. you do it the wrong time or you do it defensively and your opponent has no more swings you've just wasted it you can do it offensively and then kind of continue to press the press the board 
Um, so that's something that obviously to take note. And it is John obviously going first again. He's played the one drop Goku. He's looked at the top. Yeah, the search. So, and we see the go. first Saiyan. That Videl actually has uh, the permanent where it gains Saiyan. Yep. Yep. Um, Jack's obviously activated battle. He's put the Videl into the drop. Mm -hmm. He's obviously uh, chosen not to take the life. He obviously knows the pressure that he's going to be under. Mm -hmm. um, and he's drawn instead from there. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to see that higher life compared to uh, Gen putting one. Faster. Yeah. And for one, uh, one Z energy is actually unreal, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, I think this this is this comes back to the point of John got to go first uh, last game, and I think it caught Jack off guard, and he was playing the super defensive, like I need to like get out of this and then do the clap back, right? Yep. They both got to one hundred k, five k comboed out of there, still managed to stop another two swings. I think it was after that, and I think that's why this Vegito deck did so well yesterday. Mm. People that don't understand what it does, and people that don't understand that John has been playing this deck and has wanted support for it for so so long. Mm. Um, and it's a best of one. You can't adapt to it. This it's had such a fan following. Like for the oh. set two, the amount of people that turn around to me and go, I really wish this deck would work. I'm yep. waiting for the one card that will make it work. Yep. Yep. And it got it. Mm -hmm. It got it. The Z deck is what has kind of like spiraled it. It got a Z leader. Mm. And then it got some Z cards to obviously help it awaken. And then not mentioning that the Resolve Renewed is now locked to the Vegito leader, which is one of the best counterplays mm. uh, probably right now, I'm, I'm going to say. I, I think, honestly, the only thing that stopped the card from getting banned outright was the fact that this deck had just got support. Absolutely. And it just got a reprint. Absolutely. Otherwise, Absolutely. the way that that card was going in every Oh, it was gone. It was it, gone. It, it yeah, was ready. It was ready. It was ready. And it looks like that. John's obviously going to play the Z card. He's going to uh, awaken here. Mm -hmm. uh, eight life again. Um, happy with himself there. Ooh, Boo Unison. I don't think I even yeah. saw that in Jack's uh, first in. first mm. first game, right? Because um, generally they'll play something like the Tapion. Rest, draw one. Uh, and yeah, opting for the more defensive. Obviously mm. knowing he's going to need to bottom deck, he's going to need to block. Be able to untap, mm. uh, be able to do double strikes. Be able to, yeah, absolutely. 20k Unisons are so strong mm. uh, at the moment. I mean, fair enough. It costs four. Mm -hmm. I mean, very... Very fair, but balance for double strike. Oh, absolutely! Untapped you take it all day of the week, all day of the week. You, put, you put that, yeah, value. yeah, yeah, absolutely. The things that it lets you do for the four markers that are on that unison is mm. insane. Mm. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't have a uh, plus one. <laughs> If there was a way to give that unison markers, I think that unison gets banned. If they re if they reveal cards later on that says give your unison plus one marker or something like that for blue, that unison's out the door. Yeah, I know we've kind of pushed away from the unison series, but I can still see them supporting unison. Well, wasn't there a super combo that came out that helped? Or no, that was for revival. I think it helped put a card under your unison. That's Might right. have been. Um, yeah. Jack's used the Black Smoke Dragon, and this is a staple in almost every deck now, right? It yeah. is so, so good. I, honestly, I ran it as a four of, and people said, why? L laughing at you, I, yeah. I was going to run two draw ropes, and it's like, why would I run draw ropes when I can tap two for this? I don't need to get it in the, my drop. Absolutely. The, I still get the, the combo power from this if I want to combo with it off the board. Not just that. If you don't the want the draw, you get the you get the seven, seven drop barrier or less. Remove it? Absolutely. Insane card. And deflect. It's a staple in every deck. Even if you're not putting in the main deck, you're putting it in the side deck. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the, the draw two needs to have seven cards in uh, each player's combined drop. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to burst three to get to that point. So Jack burst one to make sure that there was seven, mm -hmm. and he did burst the Dark Broly. We'll see if that comes back and kind of bites him a little bit, because that Broly is so good, like we said. It, no, com no cost to play it, except for six cards in your drop. 30k, and it's allowed a warp card. Mm -hmm. um, no, never felt bad drawing into a smoke. No, no. Um, it's Wait. draw actually like a thing of the past now, right? Wonder is um, John's running Broly's to try and deal with some of this hand size, or if he's just going for pure aggression. Mm. I mean, against blue, it's pretty easy side in. You know they're going to be leaving NG up. Yeah, and then that's where you know obviously Jack John have to respect the Broly, and make sure he's not untapping too. Whoa. See what John just picked up in top five, top seven, Broly yeah, Crown, right Broly there, Crown, right Broly Crown. Respect the Broly. I mean, great card, mm -hmm. great card. Very a lot good. of blue players. I mean, Crimson we knew was going to be a big hit, mm -hmm. um, and blue loves keeping its energy open, especially Crimson being able to untap uh, 
on your opponent's turn, obviously Bean being like super defensive now and the only way to play it, um, you're probably going to see your opponent have uh, two energy up. And John's actually played the, um, the very first expansion. Virginia. The very very first expansion. That was the uh, was it the hero heroes expansion. heroes and we that was the, that was the worst one. Yeah. We had hero and everyone went, what is this? Yeah, this is terrible. Yep. We had fusion yep. for Go Tanks. Yep, uh, and we also got our first look at Overrealm. And that was a strong overarm. That time patrol trunks or whatever it was. Look oh. at the top three and rearrange. Ooh-wee. That was worth the price of the box. Absolutely. I mean, where, where's this? Is what I love about this uh, game as well. Look Gary. At this. Using D magic, opting to untap one. Uh, oh, but he's got the Vegeta out, so he's burnt. Uh, he's he's missed the Vegeta uh, on the board. Draft no. box three, I believe that Vegeta was. Became very popular yes. with uh, Vegeta yes. game momentum. Wow. Um, he can burn a life and burn an energy. So If he untaps. He's untapped. Um, he's going to put him a real step behind now. I mean, if you're John, you're probably just cheering internally. Like, mm. that is a huge win for him. He's mm. now two energy up at all time, uh, on his on his own turn. It, it can be so easy to miss some of those cards that are just sitting on the board. Wow. Um, quite gross. Mm. Talk about and we're, we're playing that. Like, the <laughs> thing is, like, you do it. There's no take back. Like, it's all good. Like, mm-hmm. you Top need to be aware of what your opponents have on the board, right? Wow, that's a big hit. That's definitely going to sting. Um, but, he's got five Saiyans in the... Does he have five Saiyans? Yes, he does. One, two, three. Yeah, he's got five Saiyans in the drop, and it looks like he's about to do it. Bacon. Yeah. Oh, this feels bad, though. He's got a good hand, so he's going to be drawing an extra three. Uh, untap one. Mm, well, the, the one that he has. The only one that he has. Mm. Um, oh. Oh. Did he awaken without the Saints? He hasn't awakened yet. He's still on his unawakened side. Oh, was he contemplating it, maybe? Yeah, he's just comboing out now yeah. instead of going for the awaken. I think you feel really bad if you awaken on your opponent's turn right now. Especially with one. Um, cool. No, he's just going to clean it up. I was just going to say, is he actually going to do it? Yeah, he's going to do it on his own turn. I think you get the most value out of that. Absolutely. You pay two now. It's you could actually swing with your leader, untap one, and then you also get the untap one when you awaken, right? Always it feels bad if you have to awaken on the opponent's turn. You really lose that momentum. You don't need to tell me, mate. I played Gamma and I uh, <laughs> got forced down to three life before I could even find a unison, and it was already game over from there. Yeah. So I think that's the biggest thing, right? These decks that allow you to awaken early mm-hmm. with like different conditions... Uh, some of the strongest. And that's why we're seeing Sin do so well. Yeah, it's, absolutely. Six, yeah, six it's cards. Not, it's not. It's not even six crack balls in the Z energy. Just it's six Z energy. Just six Z energy. Yep. And it, but the crack balls are so easy to get. It, it's absolutely. like you're, you're almost there, and you can awaken on what it's, eight down to free. six. It's free. Uh, Piccolo is going to be able to come down here now yeah. as well and play the pan, Two. opting not for the barrier. Um, and I think the reason why Jack's choosing, obviously, not the barrier, he knows that he needs more combo power than anything, right? Absolutely. And having barrier to just sit there for a 5k combo for free and drawing one, mm. kind of value. You draw a 5k, and all of a sudden you've got 10k combo power just from playing the piccolo and two swings of 20k. Seeing the awaken now. Mmm, yeah, yikes. Just want to have a look at what's going underneath. Yeah, which is fair. What's this Kadu? The naked, the naked Kakarot, they call it. <laughs> the naked Kakarot, yeah. I've had people ask me for that card. They're like, uh, do you have the naked Kakarot? I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? I think we need a card of um, Goku <laughs> fishing with his tail, staying naked from like the original Dragon Ball. Uh, we are moving into some like Super Dragon Ball heroes, like stuff like that I haven't even watched yet mm. um, that's coming into the card games. Obviously, we follow... A lot of what comes out in Heroes in, in Japan and the art is like um, heavily inspired from that game. Super keen for Cumber. The SCR was actually like bringing it uh, introduced into that set. Interesting, um, they, they called it the Evil Saiyan as yeah. well. And, and that's because I believe I'm, I'm like 99% sure Cumber's coming out next set. Yeah, it did sound and, like they were going to bring a lot of superhero stuff into the next set. And probably don't want that secret to be searchable. So it looks like John's going to play the Weiss. Um, that's going to take a life and then play its going going blocker. Over. Ooh, what is this? 
A Gohan. So that one plays out if the pan's on your opponent's field, I believe. Uh, I think you tap one. Um, so that's why I actually main send the pan across. Go home, gets mad. That's my daughter. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to swing draw attack at you now. And uh, there you go. He's playing another Whis, mm. taking a life. Like a, it's another block and a gate, but it's an interesting one because it's not like your blocker token where it's going to lose that block. It's going to stay on there unless mm. they remove it. Like mm. All right, it's not a dual blocker. I mean, man. Down to five. Five, five three, three. Oh, there's a Broly. Okay, nice. Vegito Remove. gone. Uh, bottom, hey. The cards are obviously gone as well. Um, here's the thing still, though. Like, Jack still has two energy, don't forget. We're, we're looking at John's four next turn. Yeah. With that's, five that's, life. That's going to be He's tight. still in a commanding spot, and it... If Jack manages to take this out 2-0, like, hats off to him for somehow doing it with one less energy. Obviously, it's his own mistake, right? Mm -hmm. um, but Very that, would just, show you, that yeah. would just show you the power of Crimson. It's just amazing how quickly this Vegito can just drop another big beast. Mm -hmm. Probably going passing turn. Yeah, and still he's got, got one energy on tap, but he's still got... Four. I think he's still got five battle yeah, cards under his leader. He hasn't anything, touched yeah. it yet. Okay, so you've got the untap one. You're going to play right. the Vegito for one. Another crown. Ooh. Damn, that's two crowns in the top uh, top seven. Whiffed on a Vegito. Yeah. And do they have one in hand? Looks like yes. Yeah, Broly Crown. Oh, that's right. He got that, he got that early uh, off the top. There it is again. It was the first search he did. He got that one. There it is again. And Vegeta coming down, able to tap down cards. Yep, energy's gone now. So there's only one way to obviously do that. He's going to have to use the three battle cards underneath. Yeah. Um, was, uh, he hasn't got Spark in me because he's overwhelmed. Yep. Yep. So he's going to need to use the three battle cards from underneath. And then if he has a beam, he'll be back to two. But then, roll the crown. Was, was he quad strike this Vegeta? I can't remember. Uh, or double strike. I don't it's think it's... So I don't long since I've read it. I don't think it's quad. I, I'm probably going to... We're going to be roasted. I, but he's going pretty hard into it, so it actually might be quad here. So what do we got? 40, 50, 55, 65, 70. 75 with the, with the pan. Uh, and it looks like he's going 75. It must be quad if he's, if he's going into that, or is it triple? Well, triple will be enough. And yeah, Jack's going to have to obviously triple. Triple strike. Yeah, I didn't think it was quad, which doesn't matter. He's only on three life anyway, and it looks like he's going to come with the Vidal first. All right, mm -hmm. there's the 5K. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at 22 at the moment. So 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So 30 combo power just from the cards underneath. Untap one, draw one. So we're looking at 30 versus, what was it? 40, 45, 55, 60, 70, 75. Mm -hmm. uh, another 40K needed. There's been, nice. like we mentioned. So 35K more. Special sensor being counter. I think he's just putting another five on there. Dice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it could have gone up to six. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bit of a. It works. Short. Sure. Short. Sure. Uh, yep. Realm of the Gods Beerus. He's going to draw one because it's his opponent's turn. I uh, can't get rid of anything with two, right? Because the Vegeta has barrier. Um, so what does that bring him to now? So he's got. So What's 10 from the, from the cards underneath, so 25, then the Vidal 30, Beerus Ball 40, 50 with the UI, 55 because the Vidal was the first card that he did, so 55. Still a few cards in hand. Still needs 25 to get out of this. He's got another beam. Probably why I kept the dice separate because it's 2k, not mm, the 5k. Yeah, actually, yeah, that would, that would probably... See, this is why we're not top 16 people. This is why we are here commentating for you guys. <laughs> 
So he still needs a, a little bit. He, he, still he, needs... has, he hasn't scooped yet. No, so he, he's got he, cards he in his might hand. Might just have enough. And he's still got one energy. Mm. So I think this is the point where you come up again where it's like, okay, I can't untap anymore from my leader. Doesn't look like he has a bean because I feel like he would have done that by now. There's the UI. Another 15. And... Uh, I think he just gets oh, so out. That, that just makes right. him get out of it there. And he didn't have to use the last energy. Mm. Now, the thing is, I feel like that Vegito does not stick on the next turn. However, John does have a pretty nice looking hand. He's got a hand. He's got three energy. If he plays the Goku, did he have the Vegito? Oh, there we go. yeah. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, if he plays the Goku one drop and then he has a Vegito yeah. in hand. But we're looking at another triple striker here. Yep. 30k. Need a D -manage. Yep, has to. Lead is going to swing. Oh no. He can't untap with the D Mag. Mm. If he does, he loses another energy. He did lose a life. I think he did untap with the D Mag again. He just lost a life. And now he's swinging yeah. with Leader for 15. And John's literally getting ready to combo his hand out again. Here we go. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, double strike. <laughs> Another bean coming out. So the leader's going to go to 25 now. Um, what was John at? Was that 55? Sorry. He's at 55. So another 35 needed. Man moves so fast. <laughs> There's at 40k now. Made another 20. Mm, two energy on tap, by the way. Yeah. So he, he can come to get there. I think he's okay with this. Wow. Has to use Champa. Yeah. So that's how that's how his hand is sitting at right now. Mm. Got a Piccolo in there. I don't think he really wants to combo that. He also had a Goku Still Black. Still what Secret Rare is running. Is that a is it in there? Super Combo? Goku I haven't Black seen a Super Combo. Really good. Uh, I've got three uh, Z energy. Needs three Z energy. And I, from what I can see here, there's a little bit of glare, but it looks like he has two in there. So he can't play the Goku Black. One cost bottom decks a four cost. And, and then draws one. Draws and it's a double strike. strike 20k. Yeah, it's actually amazing. Yeah. He's, just, he's just figuring out the combo now. Because uh, the question is, which cards do you want to get out of your hand to go into the next turn, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like he had three Goku Blacks in his hand. He's going to bean again. That's a third bean this turn. Wow. And I don't think you're too upset if you're John, yeah. right? Because he's gone to 30 now, but you've pretty much exhausted all your options. Yeah. Um, so Jack's going to get out of that one. One in Z Energy. We're leaving one... the energy up for defense. Ooh. But John still has the blocker, the Weiss. Mm. Oh. I think he's going for the Z play. Oh, look at that. The Oolong is going to copy the 40k. Oh, to remove the uh, pressure. <gasps> no, he bottom decks the Oolong from the, the Rose. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, who needs energy? Oh, well, no. you can do all this. Oh, no. So he burnt two life in total mm -hmm. from untapping. Got rid of a energy. Here's the Beerus. Uh, He's going to get three attacks on the leader. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And he gets to warp the Sin. Mm -hmm. He gets to warp the Patara. John's in a bit of strife here. Can he pull take. something from life, man? Oh, he's Look got at that. Well done, Jake. <laughs> Taking out former national champion, John. Former national champion, John, from and top two, 16, higher seed. Two amazing decks. Wow. That just goes to show you the power of Crimson, even though he literally burnt his own energy. And life. Mm -hmm. Like that is. Oh my. Oh. 
Absolutely amazing. The power of... I'm, I'm kind of like... I know we just saw it like last week at Nats, but I'm, I obviously we saw a few people playing it. I say a few, but there was a lot. Mm. Uh, I, I just like... Honestly, I just hope when we get to Worlds, <laughs> that deck is kind of like non-existent, right? I'm just... I, I've already seen it enough now. I, I don't want to see eight Crimsons at Worlds. I don't want to see Crimsons, and I also don't want to see like Sin and stuff like that as well, right? It's just like... Give us that new stuff, you know, like give us something amazing that people have like been sleeping on. Give us that mm. innovative tech. Mm. You know, we saw the, the starter deck Broly last Worlds, oh. um, which was, you know, amazing because it was like, you don't see that that often. Yeah. And I think those are the decks that can do really well. And that, that's why decks like this Vegeta, where people don't know what it does. I mean, the amount of times we look and go, that's a card. Yeah, literally. Like, and it's like, I, holy, wait a minute. You're playing like set two mm. uh, SPRs? Mm. You're, Who does that? John. <laughs> and respect to him, too. Absolutely. And respect to him, too. Guys, that is it for round 16. We are going to be getting into top eight after this. There might be a little bit of a break because that was a 2-0. People are still playing in the, in the, mm. in the area as well now. Um, if you've tuned in, obviously, thank you so much. Um, we're almost going to hit that. Uh, 100 viewer mark actually which is quite interesting I think we we peaked at around 90 um, but yeah obviously want to thank you guys uh, again for tuning in um, uh, we did have a little bit of a hiccup obviously on the stream but it's something that we kind of can't control we're trying our best with the internet that we're provided here far better than yesterday um, right? far better than yesterday at least this way we've actually got something that we can kind of stream to you guys um, we will be bringing you every top 16 match that goes onto the stream so all the way up to the final yep um, yep hopefully we can get um third and fourth playoff as well would be would be nice yeah. i think guys i don't want to promise anything but uh i really hope um because zenkai cup is actually running today as well if we finish top 16 and we get a we get our national champion mm. uh, maybe we can bring top four from the zenkai cup into it as well and stream those games because that would be actually an, a, entertaining yeah that would be great. Uh, a bit of side event stuff as well um, from what we it's can a really interesting event like being able only to, Zenkai cards and then well, set certain leaders from so like previous. You yeah. have to have between your Z uh, Z deck and your main deck, you have to have 15 cards from the Zenkai yeah, sets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is about 20 or so leaders that are allowed outside of Zenkai. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I think there's going to be different. a bit of variety, and I think mm. they still sign up about 40, 50 people. So there should be just about five, six rounds on that. Yeah. Um, but guys, that is it for round of 16. Uh, we're just going to wait on the other results so we can get into top eight. Um, once that happens, we'll obviously bring it back onto the stream. We're going to go into uh, the intermission screen, uh, and then once once we get that back on, um, we'll be back with some more commentary. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Hopefully we can see you guys in the next one. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll see you guys there.